Good morning. It's Monday and I'm getting ready to pack Matt up for work lunch. I'm giving him a strawberry banana superior hydration body armor drink, a green apple Gatorade, and of course his water cooler. His main like entree, I'm using one of these Suddenly Salads mixes. It's like a pasta salad mix. They have all different flavors now. This is the Bacon Ranch. I actually made this yesterday for lunch for him and whatever was left I packed for him today. And I did add a can of tuna. I just wanted to bulk it up a little bit. It already comes with like veggies and stuff in it. You just have to cook everything. And obviously I added mayo, black pepper, and the tuna like I mentioned. I gave, I'm giving him an apple, a peanut butter and strawberry Uncrustable. I actually got these for my son, but he did not like them. So Matt is just going to use them up and eat them. Uh, these are some of my mom's garden tomatoes. And then a Cracker Barrel Jalapeno Cheddar Stick. I am actually going to be, on, be down in Albany today with a few of my coworkers. We're going to carpool down. We have some meetings and things and appointments down there work related. And we are actually going to eat at Core Life. Um, our boss gave us like a stipend for a meal and we decided we're going to go to Core Life, which is like a newish place here that has like all like really healthy, clean eating. So I will definitely show you guys what I'm going to bring. I have a note to bring my camera so I don't forget. So I will film clips later of what I get from there and I will see you later today. All right, so it is still Monday, and we are, um, a couple of my coworkers and I, stopped at Core Life, which is Core Life Eatery. And uh, it's my first time here, I really liked it. So we all got our food to go, we were able to just pick whatever we wanted. So I got this spicy chicken power bowl. There's a ton of stuff on the bottom, it's hard to see, but there's like rice and quinoa, sprouts, falafel balls, broccolini, um, pickled onions, cilantro, and then the spicy chicken. I'm probably missing a few things. Oh, there's also baby spinach and something else. I think like pickled carrot. But anyways, they're known for um, all their clean eats. They have like power bowls and all different things. Noodle bowls and salads. I was really impressed. I don't have one close to my house, so that's why we've never gone. Um, then I also got a cranberry lemonade which they make everything from scratch that's like their whole thing it's all from scratch fresh clean eating type of thing um no like gmos and all natural so i'm excited to eat this but sorry my boss was calling me anyways we are going to head to the meeting eat our lunch there and i just wanted to show you guys what i got and we'll see you tomorrow on tuesday morning good morning it's tuesday and i'm getting ready to pack our matt's work lunch up I'm giving him a Snapple. This is the black cherry lemonade in the plastic bottle from Walmart. It was a dollar. And then this is a six from a six pack of the strawberry banana body armor superior hydration. I did make Matt a sub today. I am using the coffee cup grinder rolls. These are from Vermont, not too far from here. Um, I put on here some turkey spring mix Swiss cheese. And for the condiment, I used this buffalo ranch. So I just cut it in half for him. I've got some low sodium almonds from Trader Joe's. One of these Sunbelt peanut sweet and salty granola bars. And then yogurt because Matt recently tried one of these Oikos at my mom's and liked it. So I thought I would. He actually said, let's try some yogurt just to kind of see if I like it, if it was just a fluke thing, because he's normally not a yogurt person. Um, so this is the pumpkin pie spice, not so traditional Greek yogurt. So we're gonna see how that goes, because he loves pumpkin, obviously a spoon. And yeah, this is what he's taking today. I will be home on lunch break. I'm probably gonna have a similar sandwich to this, minus the cheese, and I'll probably add a tomato. But regardless, I'll show you later when I get home. It is Monday and I'm home on work. I am pretty much having the same sandwich as Matt, except I have no cheese, so it's turkey, spring mix, fresh garden tomato, and ranch, no cheese. Um, the rest of the tomato that I cut up, I just put a little salt and pepper and I'll just finish that on the side. I have a water that already opened. I opened it when I walked in the door, so I'll finish that. And then I'm gonna have some of these Trader Joe's three seed beet crackers. They are not, as beet flavored as I hoped for. They're just like little round. Hopefully I can get one of these out. There we go. 
guys. They're good. They're not great. They almost remind me of like a tortilla chip texture. They do have like a beet flavor, but they're not as like a beet like as I hoped. But I don't think I would get them again, but they're okay. So yeah, I'm just going to have my lunch, get back to work, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler for lunch. Today I'm giving him a Snapple watermelon lemonade and then a green apple Gatorade. Similar sandwich to the other day. It's the sub roll. It's like a soft sub roll with turkey, spring mix, buffalo, ranch, and Swiss cheese. He did like the pumpkin pie spice yogurt. So we're gonna try this one today. It is the strawberry Oikos triple zero. I've got some baby carrots here with the Jif natural peanut butter to dip the carrots in a cheese stick here and obviously a spoon so he can eat the yogurt and this is what I'm packing him today and we'll see you guys later. I am home from work on lunch. I actually just made this home chef pulled pork marinara. This is one of their express meals and it literally took five minutes from start to finish to put everything together, stir it up and then you just reheat it in the microwave. So this is pulled pork marinara penne. I've got my portion here. I'm gonna have a the rest of this Adirondack water that I've been sipping on, and then I'm also gonna have a black cherry citrus, fresca, and the other half of this entree. I have a Tupperware here to pack up so I can give to my husband tomorrow because it's a two serving meal. So yeah, I'm gonna dig in, and I love these because it only takes five minutes so I can come home on lunch and not lose much time. I'm gonna dig in and we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, I'm getting ready to pack us up for work, lunch. I'm not gonna be able to come home on lunch today because I have other things I need to do. So I'll show you Matt's lunch first. I'm giving him a strawberry banana body armor from the eight pack I got, I think, or six pack. One of these twist up, it's like a Sierra Mist Walmart version, of course, his water cooler is his main source of drinking throughout the day. This is the other portion of the Home Chef. It is the pulled pork penne marinara with peas. And there's also cheese in there as well because he's going to be able to heat this up today at a client's house. This is a four cup glass Tupperware if you're curious and it's pretty full. It's pretty heavy. So it's a good serving packed in there. Uh, one of these Oikos triple zero. This is the salted caramel flavor yogurt so far he liked the pumpkin pie spice one the best he said the strawberry one was pretty good um and i'm excited for him to try this one i think he's gonna like it but yeah the yogurt thing's going pretty good so far he said he has them like in the morning a cracker barrel jalapeno pepper jack cheese stick one of the sunbelt almond sweet and salty granola bars and a Welch's fruit snack of course a fork and a spoon so he can eat and then I am bringing I brought my Yeti cup home last night to wash it because it was pretty gross um so I brought it home washed it and then I'm just gonna fill it with ice water I've got a salad here packed it in pretty tight spring mix garden tomatoes garden peppers carrot and then there is cucumber from the, my mom's garden and then there's cut up grilled fully cooked chicken from Trader Joe's and I have my dressing in here this is the Panera at home tangerine honey dressing it's actually almost empty it's pretty good I'm trying to try all of the Panera at home dressings I think the ones that we've tried so far are really good I've got an apple some carrots with peanut butter to dip and almonds which I'm just gonna leave at my desk I just tried to go a little bit heavier on the snacks because I'm not coming home and again almonds are gonna stay at work and something like an apple can stay at work if I don't eat it but I'll probably eat everything here because I just have to make it stretch for 10 hours so yeah this is our lunch for today and we'll see you guys tomorrow it is Friday and I am at Matt's job where he is working today I just stopped by a local deli and I got us so I got Matt a chicken salad sub lettuce tomato onion and bacon and I'm having the same exact thing but on a hard roll and we are gonna split these uh, Saratoga salt and balsamic vinegar chips and have some drinks and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our lunches for the week thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one